guys, it is me, Mason, or TJHKV, bringing you the second installment of To Game or Not To Game. This one is A Valley Without Wind. It's a sandbox game in the Unity engine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, load it up and show you what it is. I'm going to back up my world before loading. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this is all about. Basically, you're a room bearer, and you uh, have all of these magical abilities that you get to use, and you get to spec and make your character however you like it. You, right now, on this character, I'm specking into light, er, to air, sorry, not light, air and fire. So, that's pretty cool, and then I also have my fire touch right here. And there's a lot of different abilities, and uh, there's a planning menu with a big encyclopedia of everything you would want to know, how to craft everything and it is extremely useful. Then you have your global inventory, set, your settlement stockpile. It sh uh, you just gather a bunch of stuff, and in multiplayer this is all shared. Everyone has this. They all have the exact same one. And so all of your stuff that you've gathered goes together, and that's that. And now, uh, quickly I'm going to talk about these tier orbs. Basically, on tier 1, by doing missions, you get tier 2 orbs, and those will let you get spells to tier 2. Now, uh, now that I'm on tier 2, I can get tier 3 orbs for missions, and I'll show you how I just got to tier 2. That was my storm dash right there. But, uh, do you see how there are these lieutenants here? There's a lieutenant there, there's a lieutenant there, and a lieutenant there. And then, there's ultimately the overlord. I already killed the first lieutenant, he was around this, he was right over here. Uh, that's where the uh, evil outpost was, and I already killed this lieutenant, and so I was on tier 1 and the lieutenant was tier 2. Now when you kill your first lieutenant, the world goes up a tier, and then the lieutenants also go up a tier, but the overlord goes down two tiers, he starts out tier 13, and he went down two tiers because I, um, because the uh, lieutenants are kind of giving their power to the overlord, so you can't really mess with it. So, you start in your settlement. I'm currently in the Ice Age, that's what my character is. And this is the first continent, there's more after this. And there's a bunch of different kind of missions. A bunch of different kind of missions. And I think they're, they're just all really creative. I'm going to go ahead and show you a boss tower. And I'm going to show you some of the combat at the same time. And so you get rewards from these that you can use to go ahead and... Oh, here's another light thing, so I probably want to kill this with fire. It's probably resistant to light. Yeah. It's resistant to light. This is fire, so it's probably resistant to fire. Hmm. The more you need. Whoop. That. I'm going to collect these consciousness shards. Consciousness shards are like the currency in this game. And you use them to buy stuff. Simple as that. Okay. Whoa. Let's see here. Time to do this boss tower. Onward to great victory. So, on this character, I am air and lightning. I currently have my tier 2 lightning spell. That's why it does so much crazy damage. Oh, they're resisting. Okay. There we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to go ahead and start my climb up this boss tower. I want my epic loot. What can I say? Okay. So, basically, you go through here and you fight all sorts of bosses. And... Uh, you get to the top, there's one final boss that you have to fight, and then that would be it. Now, uh, these are your enchantments. This is basically like your gear. I have a bunch of gear in my inventory right now, I actually need to get rid of some. That would be useful to do. <laughs> but, um, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and equip my Acid Gills enchant. And, oh, never mind, I have my double jump on, and I don't want to do that. I can jump twice due to my double jump, and acid, all water in this game is ac actually acid, so uh, it tends to hurt a bit. Okay, I'm gonna jump across, and this game, unlike Terraria, Terraria I would say is about 70% fighting, 30% building, this is about 90% uh, fighting, maybe 30% building, or maybe 10% building. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in the next door, it has a great mini-map system. Which I'm actually going to embiggen that a bit. Oh, I think that might be a bit too big. No, that's a bit too big. There we go. Okay, so... Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here. On top of this guy. So, you mouse over him, and it, it will show also above his head what they're immune- what we can immune to. 
that you can go right here, and they are immune to acid water, but they have a weakness to air and their resistance to light. So that's really important to know. So now you know what spells to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use my light spell, since it does so much more damage. Uh, it already it already does more damage than my fire spell. Oh my gosh, I'm missing everything. This is awful. It already does a lot more damage than my fire spell, and then there's a weakness added on top of it. And these things can be pretty deadly, so you want to watch out for those. And this game has great, great combat. So I'm go ahead and... Might I also mention the music in this game is great? I'll just let you listen for a minute. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. So I'm going to proceed up the tower, and I'm going to go ahead and kill this tier 2 monster. The whole world gets booted up a tier once you kill a... Oh, it's like you kill a lieutenant. I'm going to see what else there is. I got an enchant charge, which you don't need to worry about too much, but, you know, your enchants are your gear. So, uh, I just, uh, it's helping me get a little more gear every time I get one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and collect all of this. That's important. And I'm using my Storm Dash a bunch. That's really important. It's really good for getting around and everything. And there are all these health orbs around. This game can get pretty difficult, especially in two-player, because if there's more than one player on the same map, then basically the, everything has double health. And maybe even does double damage. I don't know about that, though. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff here. Whoa, okay, we're gonna pause. It looks like they are strong against, uh, they have a weakness to light, and they're strong against water, so I don't really have to worry about either of those. So just kite them around, and that was fairly simple. Ow. Ow. And that looks like that's all the monster's done with. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this enchant charge over here. You can see it on the map because it's green. And then I'm gonna go over here and go up the stairwell. I'm not quite finished with this yet. Is there is nothing up here? Just a monster. Or, there's really no point in killing it, but oh well. Okay. Consciousness shards. Get the lightning es esper, I think. It's an Esper. It must be awkward for someone to pull in. By the way, my guy is like the g the, the most G-mage sort of guy ever. Just like, look how he casts the spells. Mm. Mm, yeah. Oh. I, I, I would rap to this, but no. No, I would not. That would be awful. It just, it just looks like he's rapping constantly. Mm. Yeah. And, and no matter what you cast, he does that. The world... Also, the world can be really dark. Wait, I'm gonna check his resistances. He's weak. He's weak against earth, and ooh, he gets health if you use light against them. That's not particularly good. Which is kind of funny because he. Okay, that was a bit easier than anticipated. Ooh, wait for me. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's anything I'm missing. Okay, it looks like I've got all of it. I think I will show you one more type of mission after this, and then I will go ahead and wrap it up. This this is already a bit into the game, so just so you know, so don't be expecting exactly this right off the bat. Okay. Let's go up the stairs for the last time I hope oh, yeah. For the last time, I think. I thought I was finished. Is they just have enchant charge or something in place for me. But this game comes up with really unique and innovative missions, and I love that about this game. It there's a lot to do, and there's still missions I haven't even unlocked yet. And I don't even know I don't even know enough about this game yet to call this full review. I haven't been to the second continent yet, this is the furthest I've gotten, but it's a lot of fun. I know that much. Okay, so there's stuff lying around? No, there's normally stuff lying around. Okay. Ugh. 
so that is the boss tower. I'm going to go ahead and show you the free fall, because this is something pretty unique. And then I'm going to go over the map one quick time. Uh, by the way, this is all procedurally generated. It's all random. And, oh. Skelebots can get pretty deadly, especially the little ones. Can't see them too well. And they blow up on you. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go! Oh, okay, there we go. Am I doing an underground one? Yes, appears I am. Okay. So if you see at the top, there are some arrows showing where the things are going to fall next. And you can sort of see these spikes on the sides, like like right there. Uh, they're used, they're actually used to, uh, in the building ones, and you have to try to avoid those. Uh, follow them, so they hurt a bunch. And these are mines here, and under here, you basically, spells have a lot of knockback, and there's low gravity. So, I can just sort of propel myself really quickly through this, and I could also use it to avoid obstacles, say, like that fire there, if I was closer to it, I could do this. Something along those lines. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and propel myself down here, because I don't need to watch out for spikes, I just need to make sure I'm not running into anything. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. This is just something I love about this game. It can get so frantic sometimes, and there's, it has these awesome missions and scenarios that people haven't really thought of before. And there are uh, not too many elements in the game, but enough to satisfy. There is earth, water, fire, light, air, and entropy. Entropy is sort of like the dark powers. Okay, warp out of here. Get out of here as fast as I can. There. Glyph bear on a mission. Boom. Get the chiefs. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this right here. This is the first content that was generated for me, and this is all covered in storm, and the storm will damage you if you go in it, so you have to make these wind shelters, which is what this is right here, and I had to complete a mission to make this wind shelter, and that's how I cleared away some storm that was in this area, and, uh, and then I beat the first lieutenant, like I said, who was right there. And then you can clear up the storms over here with the uh, with the ocean buoys, so those are very useful as well. You can actually go into the ocean zones, but you will get hit by acid water constantly. I'll show you really quickly. Arr! I'm constantly taking damage due to it being water, and water tends to be acid in this game. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go back, and I think I'm going to you know, maybe buy some new spells or something. Ooh, I can finally make Light Snake, is that... Wait... Oh, snap. Oh, I make it anyways. So, I wanna see, I wanna see how this works. The Light Snake. So it just sort of bounces across, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, I guess. Let's, let's test this. Let's test this somewhere random, just... Wow, wow. This, I, this is the worst thing to test them on. Just... Go ahead and jump up here. Oh, does the light snake not do damage? I'm horribly confused. Creates a small snake made out of light. Oh, okay, so it reveals the mini-map for you. Okay. So it's more of something to scout with, it's not a... Ooh. See, there's a bunch of utility in here as well, they thought every they thought of everything. Those are warp gates, you can use those to warp around quickly and easily. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here though. And I think that will be it for this episode. If you liked it, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. But, when it comes down to game, or not to game with this game, it is definitely to game. If you like spending, putting a bunch of hour time into your character and spe if you like specking and you know specifying what your what your character can do and everything if you like spending a lot of time on that sort of stuff this is probably the game for you especially if you love you know 3d sort of combat or 2d sort of combat is what i meant and it has great combat it is loads of fun and i've put hours into it ever since i've got it so thank you for watching and please comment and subscribe as I said before. And thank you and goodbye.